the great base. In the ready position, push your hands further away from your body. Small little steps, one big final step. Left arms out, but overall it's a very good hitting zone. Palm goes out to the target, racket heads an extension of the palm. Forward, always forward. The simpler the better. Attack the ball, go to the ball, don't let the ball come to you. It's good how to get eye level down to the shot. The racket face only opens up slightly when it's below the level of the net. When you're hitting a deep volley, it's less than 10 degrees. Closer to the baseline. Again, push your hands away from the ready position. Maintain the same angle. The ready position is at a 45 degree angle. The backswing is on a 45 degree angle. Get the racket to go further down and make a circle. More with the legs, legs go down. You play with your thighs and your shoulders. But overall, very good. Short, compact swing. If you take care of the backswing, number one, you take care of the contact point, and you just let the follow through go. Remember, the downswing creates the upswing. Circular swing, circular spin. Just take your hand right around the ball. That's better, you're closer to the baseline. Back in volleys next. Okay, get that base knuckle, you've made the adjustment. Get the base knuckle on the right side of one. Swing with your arm from your shoulder, straight to straight. Forehand volley goes bent to bent. Very good, or the left arm goes back. Action, reaction. Very good, how you're sideways. Once again, attack the ball. Pass the racket, pass the target. I know you're coming off a sprained ankle, but feet together in that ready position, small steps. So organize the split step. Backhand side, very good how the right arm's relatively straight. Very good with the grips, left hand does the work. Left hand's on three, have a backhand grip, right side of number one. Now you saw this in slow motion. Everybody could be told turn more, don't take a shortcut. Let the racket go down when the body goes down. Don't collapse the racket below the wrist. You'll see from the next angle that the racket face is slightly open. When the racket face is closed, then and only then can you swing inside out, having your arm and racket become a longer lever. So way out away from your body. Don't lift up after the hit. You've got to lift up before the hit. If you don't, that energy doesn't transfer into the shot. So it's a lifting game. Your body's a built-in gym. Small little steps, get there. Sit in the imaginary chair. And breathe out in the hit. But overall, a very good looking backhand. Underspin backhand, drive it. Be aggressive. Didn't like that one. Here we go. Chips are for parties. Don't float it. Obviously, at certain times, you have to do that. So there's basic shots, specialty shots, emergency shots, and we can't forget trick shots. Okay, very good. Hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. You're staying sideways. In just a few minutes, Beginning practice, few minutes to end of practice to clean your strokes, go back, work on being efficient, as you can have an easy hit like this. Remember when you're playing, your opponents are trying to break your strokes down by mixing the ball up, giving the, giving the shot to you high, low, fast, slow. Overhead, everybody can be told, turn more. Very good how you're using your left hand. Racket's in the salute position. Use crossover steps. The crossover steps, remember, footwork is equally as important as racket work. Crossover steps, those are shuffle steps. The crossover steps, you can take half the steps to cover twice the distance. 
Okay, you can use that left hand to shield the sun. But again, just turn. Now from this angle, your opponent should see your back, or in this case, the feeder. It's good, light, you're always moving like you're skipping rope. Bjorn Borg, happy feet. It's very good, it's an abbreviated swing. Now the serve, you have to turn from the ground up. Take your time. Your own head gets over your back foot. Keep your eyes up at the hit. And that toss is going to be arced, so it's further in front and further to the right. But the brain's a fifth of a second ahead of the hand, so players sneak a peek. So you look at the bounce, now the target, but then the contact. Stay at the contact. When the eyes go, the head goes, inch for inch, the head's the heaviest part of the body, and then the shoulder goes. The brain's very sophisticated, then all of a sudden players change. They change the contact point, therefore the path of the racket changes. When the path of the racket changes, you change angles, it slows down. Go spaghetti, the looser the better. They st hang on to the ball longer. The rhythm, go slow and load. Bathroom scale one from the word pitcher method. Bathroom scale two. Now the strength of the individual comes out. There always will be individuality. But you're just like a golfer trying to simplify your swings. So you can see that it's to the left. If you're facing a giant clock, out to the right. Let's watch one more. Out to the right. 